guys welcome to today's video today is Wednesday already I'm looking for my keys I think Gabby has them to be honest but anyway welcome to today's video today we are headed shopping because it's raining I'll show you, you see the raindrops on the car Gabby does have my keys anyway we're headed out to do some shopping because there's nothing fun to do on a rainy day there's nothing fun like you can't go outside you can do amazing things on a rainy day but that's a lie you guys that's a lie don't let anybody ever tell you you can't do amazing things on a rainy day let's go do amazing things it's actually freezing outside look at, look at the little birds again isn't, isn't it freezing outside no not really i don't have t-shirt yeah i'm frozen it's freezing outside i'm all wet though because um we had to catch the horses and Willow it was being stubborn yeah and it was raining she was raining. so first stop Pet store. Pet store. It's our weekly shopping. Look at this little cat ball though. What does it do? I think you. We cannot figure it out. It's called Caddy. Cat it. It's called Cat it. We do not know what it does. Oh, it's a water fountain. Oh, oh, that's so cool. Can't see it, but it's a water when fountain. When in doubt, always look at the box. Yeah, when in doubt, always look at the box. Play when they should. Yeah. So we got these crickets. We got a little bag of crickets. Our our bearded dragon's big now, and she doesn't need like as many crickets as we had to feed her when she was little. And there was a big, huge white guy in there. Do you see it? So I asked for twenty, and the lady, <laughs> I put and the lady puts it on the counter, and Sophie's like, "Mom, that one looks like weird." And I'm like, "Yeah, I think he's like not <laughs> not healthy. I don't think he's healthy." And the lady was like, "Oh, I put more than twenty in here." <laughs> I'm like, "No, no, it's okay. I that's fine. Like she's fine with that many." Can you open my door? Yeah, um, I'm like, I didn't mean like, oh, we want our money back. You ripped us off by giving, in a, giving us one that's about to die. She's really nice. I like that lady. I loved her anyways. Like, you know when you go someplace and you meet somebody that you really like, like you just connect with and you just like them? I loved her. She was like younger than me, you know? But she's Ooh, awesome. Wiki. I like her. Do you think these balls would be good for the horses or do you think they're too small and they would trip over them? And hurt their feet. The ball I have for Penny right now is like just a little bit bigger. It's bigger and it's thicker. But imagine this, this is like a thicker plastic. Well, I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, they're cute. I would love it. Sophie and I are obsessed by cups. Like I can't drink from like a regular cup. I always have to drink from a straw. That one's cute. We have ones like that though. We have one just like I that. Have one. Yeah, you have one like that. Um, but I Flamingos. That one is cute. Hey, that is a perfect cup. Lemons and green all together. Is it just me or since COVID happened, there's not very much selection. Here she is, the girl of the hour. Uh, somebody asked me the other day if I could show her again. They're like, how is Trixie? And she's doing good. Her light bulb blew out last night though. So she is getting a new one right now. And then she's going to have to warm up before she eats. But look at her. She's like... A little chunky, but not too bad. She's like a good size. I think she's a good size. You're a really good size. And that's mostly salad with her weekly worms and crickets. Yeah, you're doing so good. I know she's so sweet though. Like I love her. She's cold right now because we had to go buy her a light. And one of the things I love about bearded dragons though is that they have like their mouth looks like they're always smiling. Sometimes she actually looks like she's smiling. The thing that I don't like about the other dragons the most is when I go to pick her up. Um, and she's, she's spiky. Like spiky. Oh, I know, she's spiky. So we're at the barn and it's dinner time and this is Chance and he's having his dinner. Do you notice that he's letting another horse share his dinner? Well, she's not actually sharing it. She just licks the outside of the bowl. And look at them, nose to nose. That's his girlfriend. Also Chino's little girlfriend. See, nose to nose, and he doesn't care. He's like, yes, you can smell my food. <laughs> Just don't eat my food. Chickens invaded the barn. Chickens. <laughs> Let's see. Is Chance scared of chickens? No chickens on the racetrack, but no, not scared of chicken. The chickens moved. <laughs> the chickens moved. He's licking his lips. I know about chickens. <laughs> and then we got Chino's best friend, also a chestnut. His name is Rhett. Do you guys remember Rhett? Almost done? Not even close. I'll finish up. Everybody's here. Like, we are have a happening barn. Who are you riding? Lily. Lily. <gasps> Lily's like, I know you have treats. <laughs> so, 
Also, Chance, and I wanted to show you guys, like, he gained so much weight over this weekend. Like, he still has, like, you can see his ribs, but everywhere, he's so much bigger. It smells like sweet and lemon. Yeah, it's so good. This cowgirl up with green area solution. We love it. So, anyways, the saddle fitter came. She said yes. The yellow thing, she did the saddle fit thing with the we tool. Yeah, we have wow. to... I was walking put his head into my... So anyways, she's going to fit the saddle. Somebody's riding in the saddle. She's going to fit the saddle, change the gullet, and then she's going to ride him. The saddle fitter is going to ride him. Yeah, I'm excited to see how that goes. If the saddle fits him when she adjusts it, it'll be the first time we've had him that he has like shoes, he has, he has weight, and he'll have a saddle that fits. So we're going to see like how he goes. And then Chino's back in business. He, we gave him a couple days off from the show. He's like, I'm back in business. I knew it was going to happen. It's too, too good to be true that you had all those days off, huh, Chino? But honestly, like, I really like this saddle fitter. I love her. Like, she's just such a lovely, lovely, lovely person. So she's going to ride our horse. And you guys will maybe get to see how Chance really goes. I'll ask her if I can video. No, Jen from Barn Boots and Country Roots. She has her channel. She posted a video of Brandon riding in the horse show. I did. So, Check it out. Yeah, so it was awesome. Wasn't it so fun? It's so good. He, ran, he rode in a derby, which I think he's really good at. So, what's your channel? Barn Boots and Country Roots. Yeah, so go check out Brandon riding. And you'll see what kind of a riding boy he is. Surprise, surprise. Brandon brought a saddle. So we're going to try this one too. It's nice, actually. Like in really good condition. All right. So. There's some really good spinal clearance here. Really good spinal clearance. It's not bridging. No it's bridging. Good. Wow. Yeah, so it looks fairly, you know, these are even. And then this would be like our center point. So if we set a ball in it, it should sit in the middle. So if it's too narrow, we'd have this. If it's too wide, we'd have this. Wow. So that looks pretty good. So we just need to put a pad on and do everything up. All right. All right. I love it. I mean, obviously, this is not our saddle, but we also have another to try. So this is an Omega. Omega. Oh, that might fit too. It does. Wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, we'd have to do it up, but that's... It's pretty forward cut. So hopefully All right. impede his shoulder, but... There's really good clearance, and again, it's making fairly good contact with them. There's no bridging. You could put a ball there, yeah, and it would sit. Wow, what a lucky day! Why didn't Brandon show us that before? He, t I asked him to bring it. He said he had one. He would bring it, and so he did bring it. Maybe he was saving it for her because he trusts her more than us. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I like this one. All right, so we're gonna lunge chance with the muscles and the fat. With a fat. <laughs> All right, obviously he's not fat, but I mean, he grew like this weekend was a big weekend for him. We went away and he's like, yes, let's party. Let's live it up. I mean, as long as he eats in that party. Yeah, he ate in the party. Maybe like even his face is chubbier, like a totally different face from last week. Uh, so she said it was a good idea to uh, lunch him just because there's new tack on his back that he hasn't really ridden in before. And she's just going to watch and make sure that Everything seems balanced, I think she said. And so she's gonna ride him. And I don't know, were you nervous? Like, were you thinking like, this is gonna be a horse that moves? <laughs> well, yeah, he's, he's doing great. He's doing hard. He is. He's really nice to work with. Right now, they all down the track. He's like, oh man. A saddle again. There we go. So I'm just watching to see if there's any lift in the back or if it's sliding backwards. Sometimes he has that problem with prior wither horses. Yeah. Um, but you do good, like a good job getting him the, the gel pad. The gel pad. I love it. It's from uh, Cavalieri and it is such a good, it's my favorite piece of tack that we own. And I have one for my round horse similarly to keep it from sliding. Yeah. Sliding. Yeah. Awesome. You know, I honestly feel like everybody should have a gel pad oh. yeah i love that's so smart I, I love being able to access all your information like you have so much to teach and it's been awesome working with you i love how she says that unwind them so go the other way 
Really, he says? Yeah, he's got a girlfriend in his field and he lets her smell his grain when he gets it at night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he stands at the, at the bucket with her and she stands beside him and she licks the outside of the pail and he's sweet to her. Yeah, they're still working on their lunging journey. She's going to have a lesson, hopefully Friday. Yeah, I think he is too. I think he's moving the best he has. No, I'm going to embarrass you. So Elizabeth has news. What happened, Elizabeth? I graduated grade eight. Graduated grade eight. And did you get any awards? What did you get? I got, well, it's called a JC McLeod Award and it's basically like leadership and being able to like public speak and like perform it. Yeah, you're a performer. You're a future YouTuber. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. You go to a parties? Any parties? You went to parties? A boat cruise party. Oh, was it a boat cruise party? How did you get on that? Like was it a class? It was like for school and there was like five other schools that went and there was like a three tier three different level boat. Okay, so we were trying saddles and stuff, so the lesson <laughs> got a little bit wonky. I didn't film too much. Chino did phenomenal, even better than at the show. So Gabby's job now is bringing up his stamina. So chance is a whole different story, <laughs> but we'll explain. All right, so I'm sorry, you guys. I failed to video a lot tonight because we were working on so many different things. Gabby's lesson kind of got like by the wayside. She did so good. There's Sophie. <laughs> like it all just got into such a mess um, because we were dealing with so many things going on. It was a fun night though, such a fun night. I love me some barn boots and country roots. I love that they bring their horse here and he's doing so good. And we discovered like Chance is definitely settling in and getting like more sassy more sassy he's feeling better he's having like definitely acting like a five-year-old a lot more than he ever was before he's starting to settle in and the thing about him is that you, you can tell him and he he doesn't do anything bad like he doesn't other than he took off on Sylvia yesterday he doesn't do bad things I don't know how to explain it I don't know the right words like he's still even when he's like acting like a five-year-old he's still so manageable is what I'm trying to say anyway uh, the saddle fitter uh, she said she loved him and he was actually trying to like fall into the middle during Sophie's ride with him while she was trying saddles like all the other horses were standing in the middle and he was like I'm going there I'm going there and she had to like say no nope, you're not going to their friends and she did it and he said he didn't want to listen to her but he did listen to her and that's I guess what I'm trying to say is that she is now having to like make him listen to her whereas he just always listened to her before and but it's manageable and it's okay and it's and it's easy for her and he does listen so I don't know I still don't know how where it's all going and stuff but I don't even know where it's going like I, we're just in a journey you guys I can't I don't know what's gonna happen I just know that things are changing he's settling in he's getting a little bit of attitude because he has a lot of you know he feels better he got a saddle to fit he has friends he has good feet he has more energy from his feet he just had supper too which I wonder if that was it he just had dinner before we started riding him but he still is that same manageable amateur friendly boy she just has to get after him where she didn't really have to get after him before don't you know that you're beautiful?